Our universe is festooned with many kinds of planets, all looking different in the vastness of space. It would be dull if everywhere and everything were the same, wouldn't it? Like this planet, small, a bit bare, and clangorish. Ah, here's the soup dragon, busy with her soup. The soup dragon doesn't want her baby playing with the big spoon. It's not for children. The soup dragon explains that baby soup dragon is upset because he can't use her soup spoon. It's too big for him. He might get hurt. Yes, maybe he can use it when he's big and strong, like his mother. Small is suggesting that baby soup dragon could help them take the soup back to the living cave. That's a kind offer. I think that's a yes then. Ah, here's Mother Clanger with a new helper. Yes, room for a little one. Ah, dinner's over and it looks like the children have offered to clear the table. What a helpful little soup dragon. The soup dragon is calling for her baby. Oh, it's all right. Her baby's fine. She knows he loves playing with those clangers. Baby Soup Dragon is happy where he is, helping Small. How lovely. They've made little chimes together. With Baby Soup Dragon's help, Tiny can conduct her tune. What a wonderful tune! Bravo, everyone! <laughs> Baby Soup Dragon has something he really, really has to say. Well, fancy that. Baby Soup Dragon has decided he wants to be a clanger. Because he gets to do fun things with the clangers, and he doesn't, being a Soup Dragon. Tyne is right. If Baby Soup Dragon is going to be a clanger, he needs a waistcoat. I suppose he does look a bit like a clanger now. And he's trying to speak like one too. Ah, 
Now Baby Soup Dragon is clanging like a clanger too. The soup dragon wants to know where her baby is. She's come to take him home. Oh yes, he's outside. Baby soup dragon really is the most clangery clanger. The soup dragon tells her baby it's time to go back to the soup wells now. Oh, he's told his mother that he's now a clanger and this is his new home. The baby soup dragon explains that he likes being with the clangers because he can help them do things. But his mother won't even let him help with the soup. Well, this is a bit awkward. I think Small has an idea. I wonder what it is they've made. Well, will you look at that? It's a spoon. Just like the soup dragon spoon, only baby sized. <laughs> Why, yes. The baby soup dragon can use it to help his mother with the soup, if he'd like. He can't use the spoon because he's a clanger. How sweet. The soup dragon proudly tells her baby that though he makes a good clangor for a day, he makes the perfect soup dragon all the time. Well, that's all sorted then. Yes, well done, Baby Soup Dragon. Baby Soup Dragon realised he was happiest being himself, especially now his mother let him help out. And one day, he'll get to use the big spoon when he's a big dragon. You see, it's all very well trying to be something we aren't, but true happiness is being something we are. Thank you.